The Tome of Rituals is a great addition to Vanguard Zombies. If you don't know, Season 1 Reloaded for Vanguard has officially released and with this, not only did we get an objective that is essentially round based on Shironuma, we also got Pack-a-Punch weapons with the Pack-a-Punch camos finally, box weapons being added into the box itself and also on top of this, the Tome of Rituals. What this is, it enables you to upgrade your field upgrades on vanguard which are called artifacts now before i get into the video and explain to you why in my opinion this is a great addition be sure to subscribe as it does really help out the youtube channel we're close to 31,000 subscribers which is pretty cool and also be sure to drop a like on the video as that does help out let's aim for 50 likes we haven't aimed for a like goal in a while but back onto the tome of rituals so from the start of the game you are able to walk up to the tome which is actually located around the area where you can get your covenants and also it is just directly across from the pack-a-punch machine now once you walk up to it you can see that you can use the hearts card to purchase tiers for your artifacts now the most amazing thing in my opinion with the tome of rituals is the fact that you can upgrade any artifact that you have on you so let's say you have ether shroud you upgrade that to level 5 you use it on level 5 then you were like Oh, I want to use Ring of Fire now because I'm going to go into Shinonuma and I want to, you know, just use a powerful artifact to be able to go through the rounds faster. You change it, you would be expecting to change it back to tier 1, but no. The great thing is, you just need to upgrade it once and you never lose it in the game that you're running. Now, it will take you 5 hearts, which is basically 5 objectives, and if you are also concentrating on covenants, it will be a bit of a mess with the amount of hearts you'll need to collect, but I definitely would prefer for going for the actual upgrades to the artifacts first before the covenants because some of them have better abilities like on stage one or even stage two that will benefit you to collect even more hearts faster for example ring of fire the second upgrade to it allows you to shoot out of your stock ammo instead of your actual ammunition which is a huge thing not only does ring of fire in the game itself increase the damage of your weapon but also on top of this it also now works like it does on cold war which is amazing if you upgrade it fully you will have it for a pretty large amount of time then if you want to use let's say frost blast there's one that allows you to freeze 100 radius around you so i'm pretty sure that means every single zombie that's around you will get affected also energy mine seems to have a huge radius of explosions as i've tested it out and it seemed like it was going after everything and taking it out really fast up onto like past round 10 or even further now yes one of the biggest complaints that i can see coming is number one this should have been in the game from the beginning absolutely yes i can agree with you 100 this should have not been an addition in season one reloaded which is like two and a half months after the game released and the second thing is why do i want to upgrade these field upgrades every single time i go into a game the way i look at it is it's a bit of something to work towards to go to shino numa i will be making a bit of a more in-depth video on why i really really enjoy this update and i can see a lot of mixed opinions out there but this is one of the reasons it's one of the reasons where i can spawn in complete the objectives before i go into the round base experience which kind of gives me a bit of a feel of outbreak i guess i want to say or just in general what their on fung should be complete some of the objectives i get bored of that guess what i can do i can just hop onto shinonuma and use my field upgrades any of them i want to swap to ether shroud i can just do that out of nowhere because it's tier 5 and yes this is very similar to the way it works on cold war but in this it's easier whereas on cold war you have to grind and grind for the crystals to upgrade them and yes they are permanently upgraded in this you hop in you complete five objectives which is around i want to say 15 to 20 minutes it's quite a lot of time but it, it will fly if you're just doing it fast maybe you can just speed run it if you obviously upgrade the correct field upgrades faster and then you'll be set you'll be set to go into shino Numa. yes it's a small map as i said i'll talk about that more i, I can already see the complaints number one shino Numa is pupu kaka because it's not the full map number two bad game number three i'm not playing this because this sucks that sucks i know I'm trying to make the most of it i agree with you don't worry but the tome of rituals in my opinion is an absolute Wow, addition. It's great. I love it because Ring of Fire is good again. That's all I needed. It was too downgraded. In one of my videos where I complained about the game compared to Cold War, it was that perks suck and field upgrades suck. I don't think they can fix the perks, but they could have fixed the field upgrades and they did. And I'm absolutely happy with it. Is it bad that it doesn't cost currency like crystals and I can have it permanently unlocked? Not really, because it's not that difficult to do in game. So hop in, try it out. It is a bit of a change. It's very similar to Cold War, so don't be expecting any revolutionary additions to the field upgrades. I think it's just great that it's finally in the game, and it's one of the reasons why I will actually be playing more Vanguard Zombies. So if this video did kind of explain to you how this works 100%, or maybe convince you to hop on the game and be like, okay, okay, I'll test it out myself, or anything like that, again, 
Subscribe would be very much appreciated. I, I hate begging for subscribers, but you know, gotta remind some people sometimes. And also, we should drop a like on the video. Yeah, I said that already. Peace out.